Hey, Friday general time, which I absolutely love, and I'm doing it at a beautiful time of day because it's twilight and the clouds are just stunning. They look like little sheep that are having parties and they've got a silver lining, so <laughs> kind of like electrified sheep. So it's a really beautiful time of day. How are you? What happened in your week? Did you have a good week? Did you manage to sleep? Did you manage to achieve your goals? Were you happy every day? Did you feel relaxed? Mm. Wow, I have some news. I have the complete utter I've had the book finished for a while, but the complete book with copyright, legals, ISBN, formatting, book cover, back cover, is all complete and now is with the formatter. Uh, it's been with the formatter before, but it is completely finished now, so any day I should be able to announce the release date Woo. and I've started on the next book and the next book is really exciting because now I've learned how to be happy I've noticed that I'm not always relaxed they don't go hand in hand happiness and and feeling relaxed so I'm doing a book on how to reduce anxiety how to reduce stress how to create a sense of calm won't they be useful? And I have an idea of creating a, a box of cards and we will pray and meditate and pull out a card and it will have a quote on it. And I thought that you could make the box with me and help me with the drawings. In Australia, in around the world it's Friday, but in Australia it's Saturday and it's cheat day. So today we're having vision. And in Australia, this is disgusting, but in Australia, at the fish and chip shop, we have fried Mars bars, which is a chocolate Mars bar covered in batter. And I, I love it so much, but it's really bad for you. And you know that once a week, I have a cheat day and all the kids love it. So today we're going to have mummy's cheat day and it's going to be just wonderful. Oh, these clouds, it just looks like a whole lot of sheep, electrified sheep. Thank you so much for enjoying my story about the, well, it's not my story, the story about the pregnant tooth fairy. I got so many comments about the pregnant tooth fairy. And thank you for enjoying my new schedule of a meditation Monday, Wednesday, classic ASMR, Friday, Friday journal and Thursday podcast loaded and loaded as a video. I really enjoy your comments and work very hard to respond to them. I just love them and I'm very grateful to you. I will let you know when the next book, when the book is coming out and I will keep you tuned in regarding the stress reduction book. And I'm also looking at the book launch and I really need to find a way to meet you. I want to meet you. So I'm working towards that. There's noise. I thought it was too good to be true. There are children everywhere making noise. So Monday, I hope my video is going to be a long visualization about personal empowerment. I've created a visualization about how you can self empower yourself. And Wednesday, I want to do a role play about joining me for dinner. So we're going to do an ace. It's so much noise now. They're playing basketball. Wednesday, I'm going to do an ASMR role play about having dinner with me. everywhere. 
now they're playing basketball. Wednesday, a role play. I'm not sure what Thursday's podcast is going to be about. Probably the next instalment about the pregnant. Now they're fighting. The pregnant fairy, the pregnant tooth fairy. My son said, how did the tooth fairy fall pregnant? And I haven't decided how I'm going to manage that yet. I just dismissed the question. There's so much noise here. I wish you could sit here with me right now and just suck up this beautiful sunset. Actually, I'd like you to share a fried Mars bar with me. Would you like that? Please subscribe. Please comment. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Take care. Sleep well. Eat well. Don't worry about the trivial stuff of life find greater meaning and experience that greater meaning you can be happy every day so let's go now hello i'm doing a video do you want to say hello okay say hello get down a second hello Okay, so let's do it with him. We're just going to do the okay ritual. So just sit there and, and follow me. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm okay. Do I do that? You do that. Again, breathe in, breathe out. I'm okay. <laughs> How's it feel? Why do we have to say I'm okay? So that you feel okay no matter what happens in your life. Okay. It's like filling in your journal. Does it make you feel good? Yes. Okay, let's try it again. I'm okay. I'm okay. Again. I'm okay. I'm okay. One more. I'm okay. Or does it feel a bit silly? Yeah. You've got to practice. I don't know the meaning of it though. Daily practice. It's about you take a motto or a saying and when life's hard, you remind yourself, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. okay. Does that feel better? Yeah. Give me a kiss. Mum, can I ask you something after the video? Okay, give me a kiss and let's go. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Max. Bye. Love you. Love you. Well, we'll have to practice with my son about the idea of I'm okay. I hope that you're okay. I'm walking in and making so much noise that I forgot to talk about my learnings this week and what I'm grateful for. I'm really grateful this week that so many things have come together for my family. My children are doing really well and we're creating dedicated spaces around the house. So we have a dedicated garden for relaxing. We have a dedicated music room which has beautiful natural light. We've painted some of the areas in the house which is really lovely to have white clear paint and the house is really reflecting our family souls and my own soul which has been wonderful for me so i'm appreciating space this week and appreciating the value of decluttering space i'm very grateful for my children's company being able to share in their souls in my life i love being with my oldest daughter she's very creative and very artistic and a wise soul my boys are quite crazy and challenge me, but are quite funny. And my other daughter is talented in so many different ways. She's great with her videos and she's also very funny. So as a family team, we're really coming together and I'm really grateful for that. I'm also grateful for the challenges because it's quite manic here and it's quite wild. And at times it really challenges who I am. I find it incredibly difficult to be patient at times and to adjust to and manage the situations as they come up. I find them really hard and I was speaking to my eldest daughter minutes ago about how it's it's hard sometimes when you want to be spiritual and you want to be in the moment and the moment's just snatched away from you without any notice. What I would change this week, if I had this week again, 
I find as I I grow older that I realize that I lack a sense of self-esteem and I lack an awareness of my own gifts. And with each day, I realize that I have worth. So this week, there were moments in the week where I experienced or perhaps the word suffered self-doubt. I think it's really important that we're aware of our strengths and we celebrate those strengths, not with arrogance, but with awareness, celebrate our strengths. And I think that I could work hard on that. So what have you learned this week? What are you grateful for? And what would you do differently? Are you filling in your journal? I'm going to go off now. I'm going to have chips, potato cakes, and a fried Mars bar because it's cheat day. And I think cheat day is really important for balance. So speak to you Monday. I won't. I'll I'll be loading an extended meditation Monday.